welcome back to Maranatha teaching channel. I am Femi Fenojo, your host. It's great to be back today. We resume our end time event series. So if you are new to this series, please, please, please listen to the previous episode because we are moving on today. First, we take a quick review of some important points that we have covered in previous episodes. The study of the last days and the end time is not optional. Understanding the end time prophecy is very, very important. One of the Lord Jesus greatest rebuke during his earthly ministry was against ignorance in this area of Christian knowledge and practice. Luke chapter 17 verses 41 to 44. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou hast known even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belonged unto thy peace. But now they are hid from thine eyes, for the days shall come upon thee, that thine enemy shall cast a train about thee, and compass thee around, and keep thee on every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon one another, because thou knowest not the times of thy visitation. We learned in previous episode the language the Bible uses for the last day prophetic event is that of no fixed timing. No fixed timing. Obviously this event will have to take place at a particular time in history but the Bible did not tell us the date on the calendar or the time you know this event will occur a lot of the controversies and confusion surrounding eschatology the study of the last day are not really about the end time event themselves but are rather about their timing we have not been called to set date or fight about date rather god has called us to live in expectation and readiness for a no man know the day or the hour event. However, God has given us signposts and billboard that help us to locate where we are in the timeline of the last days and also point us forward on the journey. Praise the Lord. Such a billboard is the nation and the land of Israel. Jerusalem is the central location against which end time events are going to unfold. This is the story of the nation of Israel, the story of the Jews. God called Abraham. The nation of Israel was then born. God gave them the land, but Israel rejected God, their king. The nation was then dispersed. However, God preserved the Jews in exile. God then restored the Jews back to their ancient land in 19. 48. The Jews, the Jewish people had not been in control of Jerusalem since 470 AD until during the Six Day War in June 1967. The war lasted only six days and ended with Israel gaining control of the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, the Golan Heights, and Gaza. However, Standing on the site of the ancient Jewish temple are uh, Islam's Al-Aqsa mosque and the shrine of Omar. And to this day, the Arab control the Temple Mount and do not allow Jews to pray on the Temple Mount. It is important to know that even though Israel is back in their ancient land, however, Israel of today is regarded in unbelief. The unfortunate fact is that today in Israel there are so many who do not have a practicing faith in Jehovah God. In fact, many in Israel today are either atheists or agnostics. This state of Israel also fulfill prophecy. We read about this, for example, in the prophecy of the valley of the dry bone that we read in Ezekiel chapter 37. I will read for us Ezekiel chapter 37 and I want to read few verses from that. 
Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 11 to 14 then he said unto me son of man these bones are the whole house of Israel behold they say our bones are dry and our hope is lost we are cut off for our part therefore prophesy and say unto them thus saith the Lord God behold O my people I will open your grave grave and cause you to come up out of your grave and bring you into the land of Israel and you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your grave O my people and brought and brought you up out of your grave and shall put my spirit in you and you shall live and I shall place you in your own land then shall you know that I the Lord have spoken it and perform it saith the Lord so Ezekiel chapter 37 prophesied that the that Jewish people will gather from all over the world to the land of Israel in unbelief and this is what Ezekiel called dry bone before God causes his bread to enter into them and they will live but what about the land itself the land of Israel laid desolate for almost 2,000 years by the turn of the 20th century the whole land of Israel was desolate mostly desert and malaria infested swarm Mark Twain we've come across this gentleman before visited Israel in 1867 and he wrote in his journal there was hardly a tree or a shrub or any where even the olives and cactus those fast friends of bottless soil has almost deserted the country no landscape exists that is more tiresome to the eye than than that which bounds the approach to jerusalem the only difference between the road and the surrounding country perhaps is that there are more rock in the road than in the surrounding country now this was the state of the land of Israel but today the swamps have been drained and some of the best agricultural technology has been applied Israel today is an agricultural wonder much of the land today has come has some of the most beautiful crops growing the variety of crop is astounding Israel has become one of the few net food exporting country in the world in the world Isaiah 27 verse 6 says and God shall cause them that come of Jacob to, to take root and Israel shall blossom and bud and fill the face of the world with fruit Israel's economic achievement of the past few decades is impressive this includes its GDP growth its foreign reserves shrinking debt to GDP, GDP ratio declining in unemployment rate and increase in labor force participation listen Israel is among the only eight countries that launch satellites into space Israel is among leaders in the world for entrepreneurship cyber security and scientific research just to name a few while the world is experiencing a net loss of job due to automation Israel's high-tech industry is creating new profession and new job Israel has indeed beaten the desert and now has a surplus supply of water Israel has discovered enormous amount of gas she is said to achieve independence and to become an exporter of energy so an israel military of today is one of the best trained in the world it has proven itself several times to be a very effective fighting force they have emerged victorious against incredible odds from every major military campaign launched against them since the country was re-established in 1948 there is only one word to describe the contemporary Israel and that word is miracle the regarding of the nation of Israel to their ancient land and the restoration of the land is nothing short of miracle the miracle that God prophesied many years before it happens now despite what we hear in major news outlets Israelis of today are dwelling in relative peace and safety but how long will this period of safety last is this 
current state of affairs in Israel simply the proverbial calm before the storm? To find answer to some of these questions, please join me next time on Maranatha Teaching Channel. I am your host, Sebastian Audio. God bless you.